shoot to be. Hip hop is it, and it can't be beat. And it all started right here in the street. Break is the dance, graffiti's the art. Rap is the music, comes straight from the heart. So come on along and take a look, because you won't find hip hop in any book. The word hip hop came from one of the early rappers who, in his rap, would say, hip hop, a hip to hop, a hippie hippie hop, you don't stop, etc. That then, in a derogatory way, or in a put down, people who didn't like that music, people from the people from the streets, from the ghetto, from uptown, would say, oh, that's that hip hop music, you know, the hip hop, hip hop, you know. But it's stuck. Michael Holman manages the New York City Breakers. They are one of the best breakdancing crews. He also considers himself a social anthropologist when it comes to hip hop. The people who are involved in shaping and creating and presenting hip hop, they are people I think who the media and uh, popular opinion in general would like to color as social undesirables, uncultured losers but what they are are real winners because they have come from nothing and made the most popular most interesting subculture happening now in in the world i think <laughs> Hip-hop culture is based on music, with disc jockeys as the new musicians. Clubs like Disco Fever in the South Bronx gave the DJs their chance to perfect the art of rapping. Making it in this world is hard for little boys and girls because the man's got a master plan. This stuff is some drugs into a poor man's hands passes it on to sisters and brothers who steal from their own doggone mothers just to satisfy the Jones oh so restless in their bones. I just felt the need to take the time to politically activate your mind. Phase two's been with hip hop from the start, both as a rapper and as a graffiti artist. And he thinks that there's an important new forum here. The basic thing about rap is that people can understand it. It's not just jibber jabber, but people can say, hey, uh, you know, two years ago, a friend of mine told me, just like reading a book. You know what I'm saying? Here's the book right here. You are the book. And you the base. The music underneath rapping is called scratching, and it's a process of using two turntables and a mixer, making new sounds out of already existing albums. It started when kids tried to imitate what they were hearing on the radio, which was an edited compilation of different breaks and popular songs. Well, the kids thought the disc jockeys were doing this live. By trying to imitate it, they created a brand new sound. It's the music for breakdancing, which has become the most famous aspect of hip-hop since the movie Flashdance. The New York City Breakers are a crew who have performed on TV and recently in films. This new form of dance has radically changed the lives of these young men. They're like a superstar. Breaking to me is to prove to the world that, not, that the ghetto ain't just a waste of time, that we got something good too. The visual backdrop for hip hop is graffiti. It took this artist, 17-year-old Brim, over 12 hours to complete this wall. I was good in art in school, but uh, the art in school isn't, isn't the same as, you know, the art behind me. It's, it's boring to me. This is exciting. And living in New York City, you know, it's like having no identification, you know, not no identity. And this is like uh, my sort of Tom Sawyer, you know, having an adventure in the city. Hip-hop, riding on subway trains, rapping, it's all something that you feel. It's not something that you just do. You know what I'm saying? And those of us who really feel in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, 